represent your market in the comment section. I want to hear what market are you from and what your spark driver and you saw it in this market. Let me know in the comments right now. I'm en route to Olney, Olney, Illinois. I think that's how I'm saying it. Anyways, it's a couple of miles, a couple of hours from St. Louis. Delivering this package for 180 bucks. I'll do it. It's fine. But Walmart Spark was down. I got an email this morning. I'll put the screenshots here. And then I was in some chats and I saw other people talking about they're getting these $10 runs for like thousands of miles. Now, we've seen this with DoorDash and other things where it's like, you know, it's a glitch or it's some something going on where the address is just not whatever and it's still in the system. But my question is, if, if were you a Spark driver today, did you make money? I got a text message from Spark as well saying that they knew about the problem. Don't call support because a lot of people were calling support probably saying, why am I seeing these offers? Oh my God, it's $10 for a thousand miles. I'm not seeing anything. Did it hinder your opportunity to make money today? If it did, let me know in the comments section. Did you see regular kind of runs and pickups or were a lot of what you saw crazy mileage? Did you accept any of the ones that were thousands of miles, get to the destination and be like, hold up and call support, be like, I can't do this. And did they give you any kind of pay? That couple bucks. Did you do that? Let me know in the comment section down below. I have a little bit of an opinion about when this happens and why and what you can do to combat it when it does happen to you because it will happen to all of us on some app at some point. Now I can sit here and tell you, well, you gotta have all the apps, multi-app, yeah, 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 sure. If an app goes down, like, and they all do at some point, sometimes they go down for five minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes they go down for a couple of hours. And if you only have a couple hours during lunch or dinner to make money with Walmart Spark, as a Spark driver, you might be hot, pissed. You, this is your one day to do gig work and like you can't make any money or what you're seeing is just these crazy orders, right? Obviously having other apps is important. That's why we should have something in our back pocket to where if I'm gonna work from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on a Wednesday and I wanna make 60 bucks, 70 bucks, 80 bucks, whatever that is for you and this happens, you're frustrated. But if you got another app you could turn on, and then maybe instead of you making your 80, you wanted to make in those three hours or whatever that number is for you. And maybe you can still make 40 or 50 and the day isn't a complete loss. But if this happened in your market, it seems like it's markets across the country. What did you do? How did you handle it? Did you still make money? Let us know in the comment section down below. And what if, can you imagine somebody actually filming content and taking a $10 run and driving a thousand miles? thousand miles is going to take you what so three five uh we'll call it that's going to be like 15 hours can you imagine somebody doing that can, imagine that customers respond oh my god i waited two days what oh my god oh my god and they give you a bad rating and you made 10 bucks could you imagine for content that did that be an entertaining video can you imagine me accepting an order today and saying all right guys we're taking a road trip Live, go live a little bit, document it. I'm staying, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I'm staying at this bum ass hotel somewhere and then I drop it off. And that would, that might be a good little fun video. I would never do that. Another question is how much would you have to be paid to drive a thousand miles? Let's say it's gonna take you three days from beginning to end. Would you do it for a thousand bucks? Three days of work? Would you do it for 1500? Would you do it for 800? Interesting question. These companies are, as I'm behind this Walmart truck that's going very slow, but it's okay. These companies will have glitches. They will have things. Offers are gonna look weird, right? They're gonna look like, what is this? I've seen them even on DoorDash. They're gonna look strange. Obviously, you don't have to take them. Don't call support. I'm glad that Walmart Spark sent that message out. Because if I were to turn my app on and seen that, yeah, I'm not gonna accept it, obviously, but if that's all I'm seeing, or I'm not seeing any, it, it, it seems like there's an issue, I might waste my time. So shout out to Walmart, or Spark, I'm sorry, the Spark app, the Spark driver app, for actually sending out that message so that they don't mess up their phone lines, but also we don't waste time. But I wanna know, when things like this happen, are you prepared with another app, another strategy, another plan, or do you just take an L for the day and say, I guess I'm not making any money today? So one downside of making money with an app. It's a downside because we are dependent upon that app to work. 
We're dependent upon customers to order, customers to tip. We're dependent upon a lot of different factors. And when something like this happens, it obviously should give us pause to think about, okay, what should I do next time so that I'm not impacted and my money and the time that I allotted and scheduled to go out to make money isn't affected and impacted in a negative way. You guys tell me what you think. Did it happen in your market? Put questions, comments below. Represent your market in the comment section. I want to hear what market are you from and what your spark driver and you saw it in this market. Let me know in the comments right now. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bonus clip. We're a mile from dropping this off. We're in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. When you know when you got roads like this and where you guys are, you probably have them. They're everywhere, but man, listen, I'm, I'm basically in the cornfields dropping off this uh, package of solar panel parts, and hopefully make it out of the Look at that cloud. Bonus, bonus, bonus clip. Extra. DV, remember the DVD that had a little bonus clip at the end or the bonus features? That's what this is right here. <laughs> there it is. That's what we're dropping off. All right, we dropped it off, but even when I went to go pick up this run, it's on an app called Curry. I'll be doing, this is the last one. Um, this is the last run I'm going to be doing here with this app because it's a it's a trash app. Anyways, um, I don't know. This is a bonus clip. With Walmart having their issues, or Spark, I'm sorry, I say Walmart. Spark is more than just Walmart. Um, this app's also down today. Like, I can't, I've done everything. I took a picture, signature. But it doesn't, it's not allowing me to like end it to where I can get paid. So I don't know, man. It, we, we as gig workers, if you do this full time and the power grid goes down or something happens and we don't have access to like our phones to make money and the apps are all whatever, many of us are going to be in a bad spot to make money. And that might be the last thing we're thinking about if something like that happens. But when your apps don't work, you feel helpless, right? Don't, don't you sometimes feel helpless? when your apps don't work. All right, I gotta go. Enough bonus features. I'm driving around in the area. I have no idea where I'm at. I need to go back to St. Louis. I'll see you guys in the next video. This just sucks. These companies can suck my... Hopefully I make it out of here alive. In the cornfields with the farmers on unpaved roads delivering for crap companies. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's time to it's time to make my own something. Cause this ain't it. <laughs> These companies should be doing this shit themselves, man. This is